so obviously we're picking the Torterra. Final stage is going to be way more beneficial while we're fighting 30% boosted uh, trainers. I'm, I'm going to just go for it, honestly. Come on, Needle Queen. I literally can't do anything else to you. Thank you. All right. Nickname time. I got my random word gen generator out here. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Yes! Sick. Uh, I'm gonna throw a few balls at this, but a Kecleon's not gonna help me a whole lot. Oh. Um. Lit. So I know I have Stench, so... So I encountered a Shaman. You know what was crazy? Ooh, I'm... Oh, he's got... It's Muck with True on it. Like, no. No, I, I, I... There's no reason for me to waste the balls on it. Warburg Gym, Rock Types, Rourke, Marshall, whatever he wants to be called. Boom. Get that gym badge on this layout. Plus, I got a Shaman. I should be able to catch an Altaria, right? Okay, that's what I thought. What's up, Cloud Residents? And this is Dr. Cloud here, and I'm back with the fifth episode of this 30% boosted Platinum Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, I made it to this flowery town that I don't remember the name of, but that's not what's important. I fought some people at a windmill site, and that's what we love, because we're all about alternative energies. But I told you guys I would be grinding in between recording sessions. I definitely did that. So I'm going to show you guys this team right now. I also need to recap, so bear with me. So we got Torterra here holding the leftovers. It's got Thick Fat with Razor Leaf, Absorb, Tackle, and Curse. Got Monk the Giraffe Egg with a spooky plate. Has the ability to drought with Psybeam, Stomp, Assange, and Outer Salute. Got Party the Grovile with Miracle Seed. Has Absorb, Pursuit, Quick Attack, and Fairy Cutter with the ability to run away. Got Secure the Altaria, which I think I caught towards the end of the last one. Has Overgrow with Peck, Fury Attack, Astonish, and Sing. And we got Bottle, the Hariyama, with Vital Throw, Fake Out, Drill Pick, and Knock Off with Hyper Cutter. And finally, we have Ghost Rider, the Nido Queen, with a Shell Bell, has the ability Stench, Stinky Girl out here. Got Scratch, Poison Sting, Double Kick, and Tail Whip. That sounded so wrong in my mouth, and I said, Dirty Girl, I'm not about that life. Ha <laughs> ha! Um... I definitely don't remember what happened last in this game, so it's going to be another bear with me kind of deal. Uh, I think I finished woodwork, the windmill stuff, I think. I'm going to find out here in a second. Because there won't be people in the windmill. Wait, 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 wait. I can't say windmill now. Windmill. Windmill. Uh, have you guys ever seen those big old windmill farms that they have in places? You know, I'm gonna just uh, timestamp and pop a picture of one. Like, those things are massive. You need, like, two or three semis to transport, like, a single one. Maybe more. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Did I get my encounter here yet? Uh, I think I got one for Valley Windworks, but I don't think I fished. So I'm betting I get one in this grass right here. So let's start off this episode with an awesome encounter. I'm in Switch right there. And if you guys want to see what this great encounter is, that barrel looking soft, looking great, then you guys better like that smash button and show me that support. Uh, we're definitely going to send out Secure here. Secure's got that single-ling-ling-ling. And we're going to da 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 destroy this handsome woman. Ooh, I missed. All right, good start. I'm actually gonna go for the peck. 
Also, if you guys didn't notice, obviously, basically the entire team is level 20. Um, that may seem extreme. I don't actually know. I don't fully remember. But, um, you can lay down. Um, if you guys don't fully remember, like me, uh, the levels are 30% boosted. So, I don't remember what they are, but I'm sure you guys will. And you'll tell me that I was wrong for grinding this high. I didn't check if I had balls, so I'm lucky. <clears throat> I also should check if I have potions before I start getting into trainer battles. That'd be smart. Oh! And, I just realized, I never opened my, uh, my random word generator. So, give me one second. I gotta make it fit on the screen with everything else. Alright, let's see if it comes up whenever I start typing. Not if I type like that, I doesn't. I forgot the A in random. Alright. So... Oop, hang on, I need to tap into it. The barrel here is going to be named Cope. That button still does not work. I just want my select button to work like I want it to. That sounded really bad whenever I said it. Just like I want it to, not how anything else needs it to be. Oh, I also found out that um, the either a potion got five super potions. I think I'm all right. Um, I get something called like the Explorer Kit in the next town, and then I can revive my fossil. I would have loved a Drapion, but I have a Barrel, who is not bad, but I think Drapion is better. All right, let's check out what these levels are on these trainers. I'm really curious. I don't know if it's my emulator or if it's um, the game itself, but there are like spots sometimes when you're walking and there's like black spots on the screen where there's nothing really there. I don't know if you guys notice it, but I definitely notice it. Hang on, hang on. Uh, uh. I can see my puppers laying on the bed. She looks nice and comfy. She always licks her paws a lot and um, leaves wet spots on the bed, and that's kind of annoying and kind of gross at the same time. Oop, I should not have ran. Um, I don't know if you guys can see her though, because like my the layout like, cuts off some of the camera on purpose so that you know you get the important part. Obviously, me. If I wanted the, mm, gosh. Words are so tough. If I wanted the channel to focus on my puppers, then I would have made the channel about the puppers. And it wouldn't go very far because she's kind of a butthole. And a lot of that's on me as a trainer. It's okay though. I still love her. Um, I might be over leveled actually now that I'm looking at this. Maybe it's just because these are like just low trainers or maybe I planned ahead so I wouldn't have to grind quite as quickly. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a crit. All right. Oh, you guys also may notice I do not have the shaman on my team. Um. This is because I just, I looked at Shaman's level up moveset and it is not good for quite a while. So the reason for keeping a Shaman is kind of minimal, at least for right now. There's a pretty good chance Shaman will come out in the future because it's a Shaman. And I looked around uh, online for the stuff about the Grace Adia flower and how to get that. And apparently it was only like a an event shaman. So I wonder if it's like very limited to the point of it needing like a certain ID in order to get. Uh, trainer ID is what I mean. 
So yeah, if it's like that, then that makes sense why I couldn't get the Grace Cedilla flower from the girl who's supposed to give it to me. Wow, that was a lot of experience. But yeah, that's my thought for why I can't get it. Uh, you guys can let me know if there's something else that I may be missing. Um, I have G Fuel advertisement on my uh, word generator, which makes sense because I've looked at G Fuel. I personally really like the phase berry. It's really solid. You guys can let me know what your favorite G Fuel flavors are, or if you haven't tried them, you can look online and see which ones you may like. Yeah. I don't feel like they'd make this little patch for no reason. Haha! -ha. Uh, do I have a psychic type? Well, I have a psychic type, but it's also... Well, actually, you have Astonish, don't you? You do? Okay. So, maybe I give you the Twisted Spoon and give, um... Secure the Spooky Plate. I know, like, I won't use um, whatever move that is that has that very often, but I'm still going to have it on Astonish. I won't use Astonish. Ooh, my goodness. I would love Lucario. Um, I won't use Astonish very often on Altaria, but regardless, it's still nice to have. Oh, I have to go up top. I feel like I've barely played any of this game, and I'm already on the fifth episode of it, which is super crazy. Ooh, okay, if I get something like Guts, that could be good. Does this girl fight me? Yes, she does. I thought she'd just give me an item, maybe, and that was gonna be nice. Oh, I'm saying it's ten minutes, and I gotta remember stuff a little better. Hey, look, Shaman. Um, recaps. I'm going to put something at the beginning of this episode and um, just say, like, I completely forgot I was even doing recaps, but I'm going to try to remember from now on to consistently be doing them, so if there isn't one on this episode, then I messed up and call me out for it. I'm going to timestamp that It's so, like, I hear myself say it and remember while I'm editing. Ooh, boy, Shaman ate that. Plus side is I double resist its only attacking move. Let's see how much it does. I'm curious. It had two growth up. Yeah. And shame was 100. Like, that, that should have done more in reality. But, like, quad resist. That's a long cry. Shaman also gave a lot less experience than I thought it would, with it being legendary. Can I one-shot a Gyarados? I think the answer is yes. Wow. Gyarados beat thick. Oh, I heard an interesting theory today that I'd never heard. Um... So apparently there's this theory that, uh, oh my goodness, I about had to hit that timestamp button. Uh, Gyarados has no moves that should let it outspeed me or anything, so I'm just gonna go for it. Nice. Um, I heard this theory that apparently, uh, Dratini and Dragonair were meant to evolve into Gyarados and Magikarp was meant to evolve into Dragonite. And, like, it makes sense from just, like, looking at them from kind of an outsider's perspective. But I very much just doubt it. I think it... I think they wanted to make, like, the worst Pokemon game evolve into this crazy thing. But not so crazy as a Dragonite. I think it's possible that, like, they were making, like, their original intention may have been, like, Routini, Dragonair, and then Gyarados-looking thing, like, in beta sprites, but then they figured out something a little bit better and went with that. That's what I would actually guess. 
Uh, I do want to see what that Babero has. Ooh, he's got Serene Grace. That could be awesome. It's like Headbutt. Um, I don't know what other types of moves he may get that would be helpful for it. One second, I just want to look at the abilities of everyone real quick. I don't know if you guys need to recap, but I need to recap. Anticipation, Snow Cloak, Damp. Mostly pretty good abilities, actually. I think that Kecleon is just the most useless thing that I've really caught so far. Not to mention, I also have three normal types chilling in the box. And then I have uh, two grass, grass types on my team anyways, so... I really need some type diversity out here. Wow, I ran right past that dude. Oh boy, look at me, look at me. We just, we just cruising. That's not the word I was going for, but it works. Man, I have not accomplished anything in this episode. I'm sorry, guys. I really intended to get more done, but I don't really know where I'm going and that's kind of my problem and I don't want to look it up because I think that kind of defeats some of the fun of this whole thing where like I don't know where I'm going okay oh there's a rest house right here I am kind of just leaving these trainers um, because I first of all like don't want to get over leveled but also uh, it's nice to have them for training just in case I need it in case I lose someone, which I mean is always a possibility for me. Do you go in that forest or do you come up here? I think I answered my own question. I bet that guy's a trainer and he just walks around like that, so I'm just gonna... There we go. Oh, this is the place where you have the girl and she walks with you. Okay, so I've done this uh, this part before with friends. Um, I'm not going to encount, count my encounter until uh, she leaves. So it does not matter what I get, I'm basically just scouting it out right now. Okay, I like Weeping Bell, but I don't need more grass type. She has a Reggie Rock. I need to run very quickly or else she's going to blow up on me. Okay, I'm guessing you have to battle them, and they set this up as double battle trainers on purpose. Which is very lame. Ha! Man, if this Regirock actually has a good move, then that would be very helpful. Um, I'm worried about switching out into just about everything, because this is level 26 Regirock. Yeah, Torterra is definitely my play to stay in, even though I don't really have much to actually fight these Mon. Wow, that level difference on these two train. Oh my goodness. If this Ninetales hits me and... Okay, okay, Regirock's doing an actual move. Oh my goodness. Alright, we use the leftovers, nice. Does Steel resist Dark in this generation? Yes. I always forget that. Also, I think I have a speed tie with this Magneton. I'm still so worried about switching out with this Regirock just chilling here. Maybe it'd be better if I just go for Razor Leaf, because they're both resisted. Yeah, that's resisted too. But it's only level 14 Magneton, to be fair. Um, does this girl heal me? Wait, do they have more Pokemon? Oh, they do. Apparently one just whips out a level 20... Wait, hold on. What's the power of Bite again? Oh, it's 60. That's 35. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely using Bite. Um, so yeah, the one person throws out level 21 to start, and the other person throws out a 14. Oh, you missed. 
and at least it flinched. But like, chilling here with this Regirock is just terrifying right now. I definitely know it's going to be the thumbnail though. Because it's just a terrifying image. Will it explode? That's all I keep wondering right now. Like, I wouldn't think so, but she also has a more disposable Mon than I do. Oh, I'm gonna time stamp that too. Like, it's so much smarter. Okay. Do you just heal me? Oh, my Pokemon just stay healed. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely considering she has a Regirock, though, I'm gonna try really, really hard to just fight these guys one at a time. Because I do not want to be exploded on. Also, I have to point out, I'm not overleveled in the least bit. I'm barely on par with these trainers. Dang, that didn't even knock you down to yellow. And you have literally no attack at all. Am I going to heal that right back? I'm a thirsty boy today. <laughs> Need that high quality H2O. <laughs> I tried to do that water boy voice and it just did not work. I'm sorry. Plus side, we're definitely going to get this encounter today. At least I think we will. Um, I think I'm going to switch my lead. I think just using Torterra is just, you know, it, it, it's, it's boring. It's boring. That's what it is. It's boring. So we just bottle for a little while. Whew. All right, bad time to switch to bottle. I mean, just to keep my team healed, so I'm just going to... Get the knockoff. And then I'm gonna take this to damage. That was probably a bad play, and then I think about it. You have bad defense. Alright, do I take you out right here? It's the only way you're staying in, bottle. Nope. Alright. And switch out for bottle. And let's switch on to Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider has really nice defenses. And if only I had Poison Point right now. Are we hitting all five times right now? Almost. That's not cool, man. You need to calm down. Well, this might be it for Ghost Rider. Wow. Uh, hang on, you only can hit me two more times. No, I would have still been alive. Sorry, I have a fairly strong suit in math. I'd say I'm, uh, let's put on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, I'm probably a 5, maybe a 6 at, like, world application of math. In general, like, if you were to put, like, a whole math thing on a table, I'd, I'd probably get about half of it right. Unless we like jump into like calculus territory, then that's really gonna get iffy. Uh, that's not really helping anyone right now. Dang it, I was almost at one step away. Come on. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've seen a single encounter that I actually won. Maybe I'm not paying enough attention, but that's what I'm seeing. Like, I could be wrong. I don't know why I said it like that. Like, yeah, I mean, of course I could be wrong. Literally, unless something has inner focus, like, I'm just gonna... Really? Really? You hit me with a single ember? 
It's so unnecessary. To... Ruins my whole day when you do that. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna throw a party. Party, party just doesn't get used enough, honestly. Like it, it's so hard to pick using party over using uh, Torterra. Because Torterra is just such a beast. His only failing is speed. And also having a quad weakness. But now that I have thick fat, it's not quad anymore. It's I think it's just uh, times two now. It's kind of crazy how good thick fat is. Alright, hopefully she'll hit my burn right there. Whoop, there we go. You know, it'd be nice if I could make her go battle the stuff with her Regirock, and then she'll heal our Regirock anyways. Oh, cool, another explosion mon. I'm gonna have to hope that Fake Out and Drill Pack are gonna take this thing out. Oh my gosh, or not. I feel like his he must have self-destruct already. Like, I can't imagine what else he's gonna have, like tackle. Oh my goodness, that does nothing. Wait, he didn't go for protect. Okay, awesome. I don't even get to see what he did. That's what I like to see. I'm learning something. Smelling salt. Double damage on paralyzed foes, but it also cures paralysis. I'm gonna say no, because I don't really have a way to paralyze foes. Oh yeah, we're definitely hitting you with Monk. Like this Crobat might have bite, but Monk's got this. Right, we're dead on par. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, if I could pick up a fire type in uh, this area, that would be amazing. We did not take that well. But you're not going to take this well either. Oh boy. I can't do it because like, that risks just him destroying me right now. So I'd rather take the switch out. Nice. If you actually would have missed that, then I might have uh, just beat him right there. But I couldn't take that chance. Why would you pick Astonish? They, like, both moves flinch, just one's more powerful. He didn't get any benefits from using that. Alright, level 21. Level 21. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. All right, <clears throat> Reggie Gigas without slow start. Let's let's do it. I mean, it would have been a lot worse if I did this in a double battle. Be a lot harder to focus in on this thing. The best thing he could probably do to me is like mega punch me right now, or that's another thing that he can do. Do I hit through this though? bottle you got this yeah whip out that bottle get that liquid courage yes i feel like bottles honestly a savior in this series wow i almost have 100 hp already that must be where all of your stats are oh yeah that's where a bunch is that's why you have such low defense you have hp out the butt Put, like everything into your HP and your attack. It's really interesting. Okay, I mean, you can never go wrong with the awakening. You know, I just realized I picked up the yellow flute earlier. That would have been that well, I mean that could be very helpful, like right in a situation like that where I just got confused. I wouldn't necessarily mind a teddy or so like ursa rank's pretty nice but at the same time like i just don't need another normal type maybe a 
ground type like Hippopotas? Maybe a dark type like Mighty Ganna? I don't know. It's tough. Am I almost at the end of this place? Like, I want to get the encounter before I end the episode. I'm already pushing 30 minutes. Yeah, I think, like, in my opinion, the best thing I've seen is probably the Mighty Anna, just because I want that type diversity on the team. I mean, there's always a rare encounter, typically, so it's possible I just haven't seen it yet. Wow. Yes, I'm sure there's a Pokemon literally standing right in between us. Where'd my car go? Am I right, though? Uh, I mean, I did say I wanted a fire type, to be fair. I don't think I have a fire or rock type on the team right now. Nope. So, like, that'd be double type diversity right there. Okay, I think I'm at the end of this. Yes, okay. Oh, she gives you the Soothe Bell? Give me a Zubat right now. I want that Crobat power. Alright, so we're going to switch Secure in front so Secure can use Sing. And we are going to get our encounter of a... Weeping Bell. Alright. That's another Grass type, so he's definitely going to be chilling in the PC. Uh, let me hit the Scout with an Astonish. Alright, I can more than likely hit him with another one. Let's go ahead and try it. Alright, cool. So I was putting him to sleep, and it's probably going to be a one-ball capture, so I mean... Pretty easy stuff here. And then, literally as soon as I finish this, I'm going to jump right into win today's episode, so... Be on the lookout for that guy. I really want to get a, like, uh, little animation thing for, uh, like that smash button, because I really want to make that a thing for me. I know it's just, like, a little play on words, but it's fun for me, personally. Okay. 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 Hey. Alright, what's this big boy's name? Big boy's name is... That sounds pretty good. Hopper. Your name will be... Got him. Alright, pretty sweet encounter, am I right, guys? Uh, I think you get cut here soon if I don't already have it. Do I already have it? I don't. I only have Rock Smash. Alright, guys, so it's going to be it for this episode. Hope you have enjoyed, as always, and catch me with episode 6 on Wednesday, like I already said. Later, guys.